Hi guys, it's me, Blue Kitty Canvas, and today we're going to be doing this mountain sun lake. And first, we're going to be starting on the lake part. I decided I wanted to make it have some sort of realistic movement to it, if that makes sense. I wanted to try and add a glow in the middle to do like light to shading, if you know, get like light in the middle and darker on the outsides that that vibe but uh basically i just decided to do this and the reason why it's in a wavy style is because i wanted it to be like it was since the sun is like behind in the middle of the mountains i wanted it to seem like the lights like going in different directions because it's blocked by certain areas so there's that and uh i would as you can see i'm kind of just going over the pencils and stuff Yes, using the basics of blue. I think I accidentally used some sort of purple in here, which it, I cover. I had to cover up later. But um, I'm. Do I think this is pretty good so far from my point of view. And um, I'm just trying to do a lot of blending and stuff because I wanted to blend the water good enough so then it would look flat. As you can see here, I'm going with a white and hardly pressing on it, so then it'll blend perfectly with the outsides, and it won't look like a colored pencil just like went inside of it and made it look messy. So that's why I did the white stuff. And then uh, it doesn't look like it's going from dark to light yet, but you'll see in a second or a few. And uh, as you can see, I took out this way darker blue and started coloring and. Uh, it started to look better and as you can see I used a medium blue right here to try and emphasize the light in the middle more brighter so then it would be white and brighter and stuff and then I just kept on doing this for a while originally I was thinking of actually doing this video with markers but then I decided colored pencils with blue would blend easier which is why i ended up switching it you know and i'm pretty sure that might be the completed water because it looks really good right now but i think i yeah i'm adding more detail to it and uh, i'm just adding some more and stuff you can i brushed off some of the pencil marks because they were getting in the way and i didn't i didn't wanted to see the full drawing flat and normal and um, if you guys want to go down there right now and like drop a like or something, you should do that right now. <laughs> and then um, as you can see, I'm continuously trying to make the white blue, but also bright enough to stand out from the other colors. And now I'm going to, here I'm working on the mountains by first drawing an outline around the water because if I color the dark spot onto the water it will not be able to cover up. I decided to also do some blending on the mountain as well or try my best with it at least since I've, I'm not really used to mountain blending since that's not something I've really done before but I tried it and uh, I don't think it did too bad but basically I tried blending up a little an, in an up area and I use black on the bottom or a really dark gray and to try and give it some texture and stuff so then it would look darker and then um, I decided I was going to use a <laughs> a like silver kind of I thought it was gray from the back of it but it ended up being silver and uh, I think I thought it looked good, but then um, it looked too much too shiny over the mountains, which is why it looks so shiny up there and stuff. But then, yeah, that's why the mountain on the like left is kind of silly looking rather than the mountain on the right. But now here I'm doing the sun, the beautiful sun, just coloring it a kind of normal yellow at first. Because you gotta have that base color for your thing. Then I tried to just use the same yellow, but that didn't work. And then uh, I just started using like a darker yellow for the outside. So try and blend inwards in a half circle. And then um, 
I was trying to use some dark yellows for the outline of it because I wanted to make it have like this outline of the sun but that that didn't really work so uh, I decided to take eventually a so I was just continuing this and then I decided to go and use a trusty orange to do that and just kind of shade it on in I don't think it looks too bad and if you also want to go down and subscribe if you like my content so far you can do that as well i actually ended up taking a really light yellow and going over it just in case there was any white spots i missed here on here i was supposed to make it a sunset but i don't think i think my mind was just in the blue zone so it like it colored it blue even though it was supposed to be orange and stuff because I was trying to do this. But then, um, so I just made the sky or like blue. And then I noticed it was a purple blue and I was like, uh oh. But I did it I had to stick with it since I already already done it. <laughs> and then uh I just continued coloring it and stuff, coloring the sky. I didn't want to do too much on the sky since uh it was supposed to be a beautiful sunset but uh it, it kind of got ruined, so, because I, I wasn't really planning for a blue sky that looked purple. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. I had to rotate it so then I wouldn't keep on hitting the edges because I like to place my arm on the paper while I do it, and that's kind of hard when, you know, it won't go on the paper. But uh, I did try to blend them together still, even though if one in the middle was darker than the one up above and stuff. I also now realize that I used a lighter one around the mountains, so I was like, uh -oh. And then, um, I, I think I had to sharpen my pencils multiple times as well. But, uh, anyways, this is almost to the end, so hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and hit a like on below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye. And I'll see you whenever my next video is. And have a good day or night.